veteran former Division II player Derek White who helped the Spurs capture that title. This year, your man on the two-way contract, Drew Eubank. Quick release. Everyone on notice. One holdover from last year's G League runner-up finish. Of course, a new head coach this year. And Lonnie Walker. Driving baseline, got two defenders off their feet, overcoming the odds. Wade Baldwin the four. Free ball, Baldwin. As he'll drop it through for the highest percentage shot of the night. Up-tempo ball game, great crowd on hand. Fans from both San Antonio and Central Texas. Blake Ahern in his second year at the helm. Just his fourth year ever coaching. His first two years was a high school coach in his home state of Missouri. And Lonnie Walker the fourth out of the University of Miami. For former Hurricane goes straight into lane, tries to get some contact. Can't get the shot to fall. An opportunity the other way in the transition. We'll see Chemezi Metu, the San Antonio Spur, make his debut on the evening. No, sir, Amita Brimo, the former national champion, UConn Husky. Moore, the former SMU Mustang, also on a two-way contract. And good patience for Wade Baldwin. A little mid-range pull-up again is good for Baldwin. 26 and 18 mark this year. That's good enough for third in their division and fourth, more importantly, in the Eastern Conference. Really a trademark look for the parent club here in San Antonio, the silver and black. Holland, no look, kick out to the wing. 9.05, eighth in the league this year in scoring, ninth in the league defensively in points allowed. And Bader feed in and just a little too tight to thread that needle. Holland baseline. Tap back is good. Former Oregon State Beaver. Just played three years. That was enough to amass 1,000 points, 600 rebounds. Met two. Oh, catch and release. And that is a three pointer. Both feet behind the line for Rodney Pryor. Playing in his 35th G League game for the 905. Metu with the spin and the left handed finish. Wide open from downtown San Antonio as Christian Watford tests his range from the river walk. Trice looking for a way into the lane and well, give Drew Eubanks some credit there. Never touched the ball, but knew how to create some space for Trice. We'll see starter Josh Hustis return in a moment at the next stoppage in play. Metu may have gotten a finger on that one. Trice lobs to Drew. A moment ago, Travis Trice dials up Eubanks. On the alley. Knows these rims. And on the opposite end, he'll defend the other one. Well, 16 footer is on the money from Mikhail McIntosh. Doing about 21 minutes, 10 points, 5 rebounds per outing. Eubanks will hook along the baseline. Eustace. And there to clean things up, Lonnie Walker the fourth. And that is a long two-pointer. They will go back and look at it at the next stoppage in play. Josh Adams, they say, had his foot on the line. A 35% three-point shooter this year. As Travis Trice able to knock one down straight away. Got his own miss. Again, Howard, dangerous from beyond the arc, knocks that one down as advertised. Tries another lob, this time to Prima. Something they enjoyed last year when the format changed. Out of the hand in time, nothing but net. Fresh shot clock. Bader's already knocked one down today. Travis Trice is having himself a night, dialing up. That's a few steps. 
They'll say no walk. Lloyd goes in for a closer look, and the 9.05 are back up by one. Baldwin. Of course, that high school was St. Joe's, where Arthur Agee and William Gates were the feature of the documentary Hoop Dreams. Doing the, uh, the coaches' interviews. Off a franchise best 22 rebounds against RGB, a good RGB team the other night. Metu bullies his way in along the baseline. And Eubanks able to hold his ground. They say he went straight up and down. Not going to get the foul call. Holland touch pass into Drew Eubanks. Defense from Drew. Offense from Drew. Fine points in the closing moments of the opening frame. Again, Drew Eubanks goes up to contest and alter a shot that time from Baldwin. And on the opposite end, it's Holland. And we are even at 48 apiece. It is only the two-way contract players and the actual players on assignment from the NBA who are protected. Two and a half points this year, five rebounds, almost six assists. Filling out the box score once again. Eustace knows his range. Think of who had to use part of his rookie contract in the NBA to pay off student loans. And we're talking about Spurs have continued, continued to be movers and shakers even in January and February of this year. Who we saw briefly off the bench in the first half. Kick out to Moore. Repays the favor to Trice. Nobody picks him up. Travis Trice will knock it down. That would have been something, but it wasn't. Trice the other way in a foot race. Just won't go down. Pocket pick from Baldwin. Another steal, his third. Lloyd, and Lloyd creates his own open look. Your G League champions two years ago and runners up last year, sitting in fourth in the East. Trice goes in the lane, had Brima in the corner of his eye the whole time. Brima with the rebound, the putback, they will count the bucket. Tour guides, likely including Chimezi Metu and Lonnie Walker the fourth. Then a man by Dewan Blair, who we've not seen tonight yet for Austin. Adams with his second bucket. Remember, he had the slam earlier. Chemezi Metu. Six foot 11 rookie out of USC. It was announced this week he'd be on assignment. It's his shortest trip to join his Austin teammates. Just had to stay put in San Antonio. Eubanks, left-handed finish for Drew. He's got 14 points, part of a double-double with 11 rebounds. Will air for free on Facebook Watch. Bader trying to sell a foul instead. Approaching the final minute here in the third quarter, we were tied at halftime at 48. Chemezi Metu. Drifting away, able to knock it down. Adams now with six points for the ball game. Derek White looking on at his old team, which includes a couple of his current teammates. John Holland wouldn't mind uh, finding an NBA home. South Bay Lakers making his NBA debut last year and having himself a night on the national stage, and that is a two-pointer. And Walker. Already a minute has melted off the fourth quarter clock. Adams able to bank it home. San Antonio against Austin. They're back home. Their last two home games of the regular season. 
Fort Wayne and Canton coming up on Monday and Thursday where they finish on the road. Delaware, Lakeland, and another game against Lakeland. Joining them on January 4th this year, Raptors 905, I should say. Spent the G League Summer League, or I should say the NBA Summer League with Golden State. Other than the opening frame has been a tight ball game. Baldwin got 19 points to go with seven rebounds, six assists tonight. Only thing holding him back is playing with four fouls. He's one of three Raptors 905 players right now. No, sir. Amita Brima. Now Brima goes up both ends, but ultimately pays off when Ben Moore, his third bite at the apple this trip down is good. No need to return to earth before he drops it through. And a nice follow-up by Cook on the opposite end. And he's blocked by Baldwin. Gives him a stare. Ben Moore, a couple of offensive rebounds. Uses the rim to his advantage. Walker, who's in the starting lineup, eight points through 22 minutes. Three on two for the 9.05. Lloyd saves it behind the back. Notice down low to Cook. Oh, nice drive by Lloyd, able to get it up and over, anticipating Brimo closing in. Adams went past one spur and threw another. Lloyd feeling it. Trice back to Chemezi. Chemezi Metu has already careered it from beyond the arc. And Chemezi's posted wide open. Walker goes in for a closer look. A game where both teams shooting right around 44, 45%. Baldwin goes in for an easy pair. Spurs down by seven. And Baldwin with Eubanks on his hip. Trice open three. Holland helped create the look. 905 led by as many as 11 in the first half. They led by 10 at the end of the first quarter. Baldwin. What a night for Baldwin. Walker. The foul on Holland a moment later. There you see Walker. Tries. Figure would go for any score he can get. Able to get the bucket. Again, using the reset timeout to advance into the front court. Walker. Doesn't want much time to come off that clock. Lonnie Walker, the fourth, drills the three. And the Spurs have just forced a turnover. <laughs> Cook with a pair of free throws here, misses the front end. With this free throw, it'd be a two score ball game. Spurs just don't want to give up an offensive rebound. Need something quick. Step back, Trice. He's going to the line for the four-point play. Six seconds to go, down by two. 6.1 seconds remaining, down by two. Cook. And there goes the master plan. I say that, it's a three-point ball game. Spurs can tie here. Trice for the tie. There will be no overtime.